Is your new Sammy pup challenging you? You want to survive their first two challenging years? Stick around because I'm going to tell you how. Let's talk about the challenge of your dog chewing things and how to overcome it. When a Sammy pup reaches around four months old to two years old, they're going to be velociraptors of terror. These guys are the most intelligent dogs out there, but they don't respond well to just a simple sit, stay, come down command. They need to be enticed. They get into all types of things they're not supposed to eat, like your shoes, socks. They swallow socks whole, and then 24 hours later, they poop them out whole, or they throw them up, which is not much fun to clean up. So whenever they eat something that they're not supposed to eat, you're going to exchange that bad thing with something they should be eating, like a treat, a toy, ball, something enticing to your dog, something that your dog really, really loves. So if your dog is eating, say for example, your shoes, and you don't want them to eat your shoes, you'll bring a squeaky toy in, or a ball, a treat, something like that, and you'll show them the, that item. Like Yeti, look at this. Tell them to drop that bad thing that they have in their mouth, and if they don't, you'll grab that bad thing from them. And the moment that you get that bad thing, or the moment they drop that bad thing that they're not supposed to be eating, you'll exchange it with a treat, toy, ball, something that is good for them. The second you give that to them, you'll tell them, good boy, because that's what you want to encourage them to chew on. Another great word to teach your dog is yes. You don't want them to be eating that bad thing, like your shoes, socks, an electrical cord, piece of your furniture, that's bad. You want them to be eating a toy, ball, squeaky, something that's meant for your dog. All of you probably have one of these guys, a cell phone. Now we know that these are expensive things, but your dog doesn't know that. So if your dog is eating one of these, that's that's not good. Like if Yeti had this in his mouth, I would come up to him with a toy or a treat and say, Yeti, look at this, look at this, look at this. He'll hopefully drop that phone or the, the thing he's not supposed to be eating. Then I'll instantly reward it with the toy or a treat, something he could be eating. Yeti, that's a good boy. And Yeti's like looking at my phone like, hey, I want that. I don't want the toy. So puppies love biting because that's how they're, they're used to playing. They bite. So what do you do if your dog puppy bites? Yeti, can you bite me? Yeti, can you bite? Bite? No, you're not gonna bite? Now naturally puppies love biting. That's how they play. But we don't want them biting you because that hurts. So what you're going to do to stop them from biting you and to keep them from biting you, just think of how they communicate. Puppies yip when they're in pain. Like let's say that Yeti is actually biting me, which he's not. I'm going to yip, like how a puppy yips. Like yip! Yeah, did you notice how he looked at me when I yipped? Yes, yeah, sweetie, that's a good boy. And the moment that they, they perk their ears up and they stop biting you is when you're going to praise them and give them a treat, just like I did with Yeti. So let's do this again. Yeti, bite me. No, you're not gonna bite me? Let's say, for example, that Yeti is biting me. I'm going to yip. See what he did right there? He just perked his ears up and looked at me. Then I'm going to give him the treat. Good boy, sweetie. That's a good boy, Yeti. So now I'm going to demonstrate for you exactly what you're going to do. So let's pretend Yeti is biting me, okay? And I don't want him to bite. So, yeah! Good boy. <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> let's say you don't have a treat with you and you're rubbing your dog and playing and your puppy is nipping at you. You'll yip and then walk away, completely ignoring your dog. And your puppy will want to play. So your puppy will come chasing after you. They might bite your heels. Again, you'll yip and you'll ignore the puppy. Then once the puppy calms down, the second they calm down, return back to the puppy and give them praise, verbal praise, rubbing praise, all types of praise. And then you'll get a treat out and give the your dog the treat. Another technique for you is growling at your dog. So if your dog is misbehaving, not only can you yip, but you can growl because a puppy understands growling. <clears throat> when he was a puppy, he would perk up and look at me and try to figure out why I was growling at him. That growling is just like the yipping, it's a distractor. Once they notice that distraction, when they perk their ears up and they pay attention right away, 
That's when you'll jump in with all the praise and the treats, the rewarding behavior. Give them a toy to play with because we're trying to replace what they shouldn't be doing with what they should be doing. Now, sometimes your dog is full of energy, which is most of the time if you own a Sammy. <laughs> and they come up to you when you're laying on the couch just watching a TV show and they wanna play. So if they bite again, you're going to repeat that same technique that I just taught you about the yipping. You can growl at them. You wanna eventually replace the yipping and growling with the no command. So you, that's why you wanna involve saying no with the yipping and the growling. In the future, you can stop yipping and growling and you can just say no because they'll learn no. You know, if you don't have a treat with you, what you're going to do when after you yip and growl at them and say no, you're going to ignore your puppy. And I know that that can be really tough to do. So what I used to do, I'd be laying on the couch, I would grab a blanket and <laughs> cover myself in the blanket so that they would think that I disappeared. Sometimes at night, Yeti gets a little bit crazy at me. He barks at me a lot, asking me to play with him, asking me to roughhouse with him. Sometimes I don't want to do that. So the moment he starts barking at me, telling me, come on, mom, get up, come on, play. Mom, mom, mom. You know, being a demanding fuzz pup, and I don't want to deal with the demanding fuzz pup. I sit there and I'll I'll pretend that I'm covering myself by just sticking my arms up in front of my face so that Yeti cannot see me. Yeti thinks, oh, my mom's gone, and he stops barking. Now, the moment that they're a good dog, you want to give them praise. If your dog's been bugging you to play or bugging you to do whatever they want to do, and you don't like being bit, you don't like roughhousing or whatever, and you do the, the no, and then you walk away or you hide your, your face from them, and the second they, they acknowledge that by calming down, then you'll step in and you'll praise them right away. Give them a nice ear rub and a belly rub and tell them good boy. Now part of the reason why, a big part of the reason why they're hyper crazy dogs when they're young and even when they're adult dogs are like this too. The reason why they're that way is because they need exercise. Sammies are working dogs. They need a lot of exercise. Working dogs, they love to pull sleds. They love to pull you when you walk them. So a great idea is to get a skateboard or rollerblades, run around a few blocks, and that'll tire your dog out. And then as they get bigger, of course, you'll need to go further. That way your dog can pull you. Now tired puppies are a lot more calm than an excited, crazy puppy. They'll be much more relaxed and better listeners. To tire them out, you wanna play with them a lot and involve mental play as well as the physical play. Bring them to your backyard and play fetch a lot with them. So on our website, yetisplace.dog, as well as in our other links, we do have some special treat feeders that have, like you can put their dog food in them or else you can put treats in there, like these little Charlie Bear treats, which are also linked down below. You can stick some of those in this in, in the treat finder to help foster some of that mental stimulation. A dog like a Sammy needs not only physical stimulation, but mental stimulation to keep their active minds going. Sammies do need a lot of exercise, so be sure to bring them on a few long walks every day. When they're little, of course you can go a shorter ways, but that littleness doesn't stay for very long. These dogs are meant to pull heavy equipment. Like I'm talking over one ton. They originated in Siberia and they were even used in the Antarctic on an Antarctic expedition. They are designed for hard work out in the harsh elements. Please let them work. Let them do the things that they were bred to do. That'll take their edge off. Now our mental games, which are linked down below, are puzzles for your dog, like food puzzles where they have to dig food out of special areas. It helps tire them out and it makes training a lot easier. I made a video about this other challenge that you're facing, chewing. So be sure to watch this one next. We'll bark at you next time.